Hey guys, Dimani here with another video on Dragon Ball Z Dokkan Battle. And in this video, can't talk today. In this video, we will have double fan art. So thank you for sending the fan art in. If you guys have any of your own drawings you want to show in one of my videos, my email is down below. Send it in and I will make sure to show it for you, okay? All right. Uh, one other thing I want to talk about is we got a kind of a little bit of announcement on JP where, as you guys know, you probably already heard, they are getting an easy A for one of the original 70% leaders. So uh, one thing I'm getting a lot of comments, a lot of questions on is the new tech Super Saiyan 3 Gotenks stronger than the physical Gotenks. So uh, the answer to, to that question, I'm gonna tell you right now, yes and no. So we'll go over that in just a second. Uh, but I really, really, really quick want to talk about the 70% leaders. Uh, for those that are older to the game, uh, these are the original 70% leaders. Uh, me personally, I rainbowed Buhan, Super Vegito, and Gotenks. Uh, I never actually rainbowed Omega, although I got him to like 79%. I think I've opened up two, uh, opened up the, I think I opened up two dupes, and I put uh, orbs into them. Um, I never actually put orbs into physical Broly because there's so many Broly units in the game that he just became, became kind of irrelevant. So I never actually did. But Gotenks is a really, really, you know, high damage unit. At least the physical one is. And with the easy A on this one, uh, it kind of changes things around a little bit. So we'll hop into that. Uh, real quick, guys, let me know out of the five which one your favorite is in the comments down below. Me personally, out of the five, the one I got personally got the most use out of is probably Super Vegito. Uh, he kind of, he's not very relevant anymore, but maybe with an easy A he could be. And uh, Buhan would probably be my like, second one. Uh, yeah, but out of the two, uh, out of the five, those are the two that I probably use the most. Uh, Super Saiyan 3 Gotenks was definitely up there as well. Um, I'm trying to think who I'll use more, Gotenks or Buhan. It might have actually been Gotenks, but anyways, let's hop into this comparison video because a uh, big shout out to the Dokkan subreddit. I will leave a link in the description. If you're not subbed to them yet on the subreddit, make sure to do so because they provide tons of useful information and this one is no exception. So real quick, I need to give a shout out to the creator, which is uh, RollerZZ. So thank you, buddy. I'm going to use your post up here on the Dokkan subreddit. And uh, we got a comparison of the two units, and I'm gonna go over a little bit, a little bit of data that's here, and something else you guys really need to consider when looking at this data, because if you're considering putting orbs in the Super Saiyan 3 Gotenks now, uh, because he is stronger in some suits, I'm gonna advise you to think again and kind of wait until it comes out, because there's some things I want to go over. Just stay tuned, okay? All right. Uh, so here are the stats right here uh, for the unit. This is at free dupe because uh, that's bottom right open and then rainbow star so as you see uh hp attack and defense uh the, it, the attack goes all the way up to eighteen thousand on this unit which is absolutely absurd uh team super saiyan 3 fusions uh, do you guys see that okay i think i'm hoping so it looks a little bit blurry on my end hopefully it's not for you uh teams so he puts on two different teams super saiyan 3 and uh fusions uh both at 170 percent attack power uh potential system 20 crit six additional average key on fusions is 12 Reason by that, well, let me just say this uh, in case you guys don't know, Super Saiyan 3 Gotenks has higher damage output at 11 key super. Uh, that's the case with the physical and the tech one. However, with the EZA, they did move that 12 key super to supreme damage, so the 12 key super does do a lot more damage. Okay, uh, Link's considered active at all times. Super Saiyan, first battle, and limit breaking form, which is basically Super Saiyan 3, uh, at 100% uptime when taking these calculations. Uh, when looking at it, average attack on fusions free dupe is 1.6 million, which is really freaking high. Average attack on Super Saiyan 3 is 2.2 million, uh, which these are with the free dupes. And if you happen to have the unit Rainbow Star, there are his stats right there, uh, 2.9 million and all the way up to 3.8 million at Rainbow Star. So the unit is a freaking monster, uh, Rainbow Star, at 3.8 million attack uh, with a Super Saiyan 3 Rainbow. Now, Super Saiyan 3. Is the team viable? Uh, I think you really technically should be looking more at this Fusions number uh, because nobody really runs Super Saiyan 3. Uh, and I'll show you guys that in a second. And also, or the reason why those attack stats are a little bit more uh, elevated is because Bardock. There's a lot more buffers on the Super Saiyan 3 team than there is a Fusions team. So your average attack uh, with Intelligence Bardock because he is a support unit is going to be a lot higher on the Super Saiyan 3 team. Now. Let's take a look at the physical one. Uh, pretty much uh, same thing. The attack stat is much different here. We got 15.9k uh, compared to uh, 18k. So 3,000 more attack stat and his defense is 9,850. Whoa. Wow. 
Don't double tap that. Uh, defense 9,850 compared to 11,000, so the tech one has a lot more defense. Uh, pretty much the same thing, uh, except for the potential system, because he is a physical unit. He does have 50 crit and 11 additional, compared to this one, 20 crit and 6 additional. Uh, as you guys know, the uh, physical units have more uh, additional super attacks, because the top left path has that additional uh, built in. Average KO super is 11 on Super Saiyan 3, so all that stuff is pretty much the same. Uh, let's take a look at the attack stats here. So, average attack on fusions, free dupe, is 1.8 million. Let's take a look at this one. It's 1.6 million. So the physical is stronger on fusions team. Attack on Super Saiyan 3, uh, free dupe, 1.9 million. And here it's 2.2 million. Attack on fusions rainbow, 3.2 million compared to 2.9 million. And average attack on Super Saiyan 3 rainbow is 3.4 million compared to 3.8 million. Now... The reason why the tech one has a higher attack stat, A, 15 super attack, and then on top of that, the attack stat up here is 18,000, uh, he has 18,000 attack stat, while this one has a 15,900 attack stat at max rainbow star potential, basically. So the reason why the tech one creeps past the physical is because Super Saiyan 3 Bardock is there to buff the attack, and the tech one has more attack power, so he climbs further on a Super Saiyan 3 team. However, on a fusions team, the Rainbow and the Free Dupe uh, Super Saiyan 3 Physical Go Tanks does take precedence. He is the stronger of the two. So, question. Should you Rainbow your Tech one if you have it sitting, sitting in your box? That's a great question. If you have the Physical Rainbow, uh, like a lot of people do because it's been back on a lot of banners, I'm going to say no. And hear me out here before you you know, you know, go crazy on me. Mine's already Rainbowed just because like I've, I've been playing a long time and at the time it was worth Rainbowing. But... The problem I have with this, and this might change, this might actually change because the way they're doing things now, they're releasing a lot of units with double categories. And if they release one with a double category with Super Saiyan 3 on it and, you know, attack 170%, then we're back in business. But let me show you this right now uh, because it is a problem. So guys, say for example, I wanted to run a Super Saiyan 3 team. I'm like, yeah, let's go. Super Saiyan 3, who am I going to fight today? I'm going to go fight Vegeta Blue. I'm going to go beat his asshole. And I'm going to go do this event. I want to do it with a Super Saiyan 3 team. Yeah, let's go. Super Saiyan 3, Intelligence. I need a Bardock. I only got one Bardock. So I can run this event. I can run this event one time. And I, I, I can't play no more. So that is the biggest problem as of right now that I have with the team. Now, say if you wanted to run a Fusions team, you look over here, oh, you know what, I, I guess I can't do Super Saiyan 3, let's just do Fusion, and I love how they made it so you can click more than one category now, but let's do Fusions team, and let's turn that on. Now, you got three different leaders running right now with Fusions team. You got Vegito Blue, I hope all of them are showing right here. You got Physical LR Gogeta, then you scroll further down, and you should I, I didn't see them let me see if there's any of these roll there is so also you have tech super saiyan for gogeta so what this means is there's three different leaders for fusions gogeta blue lr physical gogeta and then there's also this one at 150 percent which is gogeta so you're more likely to run it on this team than you are an Intelligence Bardock right now. There's just no, nobody's running Intelligence Bardock as their leader. However, if they come out with a new unit, a Super Saiyan 3 unit, a Super Saiyan 3 Goku leader, you know, we haven't had one of those in a while, or, you know, a Super Saiyan 3 Vegeta leader, something cool, uh, that is a dual category where you can start running Super Saiyan 3s again, then at that point, at that time, I would say, Yes, Rainbow that tech one because he will be stronger. You're going to use him more than the physical one. Uh, you can also put Super Saiyan 3 Bardock on the team and have an awesome team to run. But right now, you're not going to find a, a, enough Intelligence Bardocks to make that viable. So if you have the physical one Rainbow, do not Rainbow the Super Saiyan 3 tech one. That's just personally how I feel. Now, guys, um, I kind of want to do this video because I was getting a lot of questions on it. Let me know at all uh, your comments, your opinions, or what you think of it. Uh, if you have them both rainbowed like I do, let me know so you can just run whatever one you want. If you're short on orbs uh, and you have the physical one rainbowed, I would say hold on for a bit. Don't rainbow the tech one at this time. Wait until another Super Saiyan 3 Bardock appears. Alright guys, hope you enjoyed it. Uh, let me know in the comments what you think. I love you, and I'll see you guys all in the next video. Laters.